Here's an interesting fact about the Christian life. Jesus is much more interested in having a relationship of trust with you than a relationship of obedience. And let me talk a little bit about what I mean there so we don't misunderstand. Jesus does not know the day of his own wedding. Mark 13.32 says, But of that day no one knows, not the angels nor the Son, but only the Father in heaven. So Jesus has this great day he's looking forward to. That's, that's the day of the fulfillment of his destiny at the marriage supper of the Lamb. But Jesus himself doesn't know what that day is. Sometimes I work with people who feel like God has told them something would happen. You know, you're going to get married this year or, you know, this month you're going to find the person. And I'm thinking a little bit, okay, wait a minute. Jesus doesn't even know the day that he's going to get married. (laughs) And we so want God to tell us the future. We want him to tell us what's going to happen, who we're going to marry, what job we're going to take, what, what we need to be aware of next month. And it's a big security thing for us to know the future. And we couch this in the language of obedience that, you know, I want God to tell me the future so I can obey him. You know, God, tell me what I'm supposed to do tomorrow. Tell me where I'm supposed to be in a year. But here's the interesting thing. God is much more interested in a relationship of trust with you than a relationship of obedience. So he doesn't tell us the future on a lot of things because then we're walking in a relationship of trust and not obedience. And even Jesus had to do that. When Jesus doesn't know the day of his own wedding, he's walking in trust with his father instead of walking in knowing. And we want to learn to walk that way with God, not where we need to know everything that's going to happen so that we can obey, but where we trust him in everything so he can bring the beautiful surprise. So when you don't know, it's okay. Let go. It gives you the opportunity to walk in that relationship of trust that God so values. So let's take a moment and ask Jesus about that. Jesus, why is it that you value my trust so much? Mm